In this video, we're going to create a chart. We're going to create a column chart that's going to show all of our employees, all 20 of them, and also we're going to show the new salary for all 20 of our employees. Once again, we're going to list all 20 employees and just their new salary. The steps being, you're going to go to your sheet and highlight all your employees, including that top row, which is actually the header. Next, we're going to highlight just the new salary for all the employees. I mean, here's the trick here. Because it's not right next to this column, what we need to do is hold down the control key and then highlight this area. Once again, to get this column right here for new salary, we need to hold down the control key and then hold down the left mouse and highlight this entire area. After doing that, whenever you're creating a chart, one way of doing it is by clicking on the Insert tab. Come over here to Column. We're going to use a basic chart, a 2D clustered column. Left click on it, and here is our new chart. Now, we, once again, we can move it around by holding down the left mouse. We can drag it around to make it bigger or smaller. You go to the corner, and when you have the two arrows, you hold down the left mouse and close it in or close it out. Once again, you're to enlarge the chart, you're going to go to the corners. Hover over it. When you get the double arrow, hold down the left mouse and size accordingly. Now it's a nice looking chart, very simple. But you're going to notice up here is that we do have a title. Excel was able to come up with the proper title, which is really very appropriate, like we're showing the new salaries. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, and in fact there is no title showing. If that were the case, what you would do is you would click on Layout, You would move over to the left and come over to Chart Title, hit the down arrow, and then click over here in terms of where you want that title to appear. Usually it's going to be above the chart. But once again, we already have a title, we're all set. But if the title were not showing, the steps that you would take would be to go to Layout, Chart Title, and click on one of these buttons. The reason why I mention that is that you could have the nicest chart in the world, but if it has no title, the person viewing the chart wouldn't have an idea in terms of what it's depicting or showing. So it's very important always to have a title. Over here we have our legend. It's really repeating the title. There's no need for that. So what you can do is come over here, left click on that legend, you can see it's now outlined, and then just come over to your keyboard and click delete. So the legend is now gone and the chart has now been resized. Now it's very easy to change the style of the chart, or rather what chart you're going to be using. We have a column chart. All we have to do to change the type of chart is by going back and clicking on Design right here. Going over to the left, and we can click on Change Chart Type. We have our box, and as you can see right now, it's a column chart. We could move down if we wanted to. We could choose a line chart, which probably 
wouldn't be all that appropriate. What we're going to do is click on a bar chart. Left click here for bar, then left click on OK, and we've now changed it to a bar chart. I'm going to go back here and click on change chart type again and I'm going to click on a pie chart so it's now outlined click on OK and we now have a pie chart however we don't have any labels and the easiest way to get labels is by left clicking on layout the layout tab right here come over to data labels click the down arrow come all the way down to the bottom where it says more data labels or more data label options left click on that we're going to get a box and we can check off the additional labels that we want to have stated. Category name, you probably want, so you'd click in here. Maybe the percentage. Click on close. There's an awful lot of information here. We can make that chart larger by clicking in it, coming over to the side, get our double arrow and make it a little bit bigger. Probably have to make it a, quite a bit bigger. Now, I'm going to show you a sh shortcut to create charts. I'm going to go over here click on the chart and then hit delete. It's now gone. So I clicked on the chart, hit the delete key, we no longer have a chart. As you can see, my area is still highlighted, my employees and my new salary. To get a quick view of your chart, a shortcut, is you can hold down Alt the ALT key and then tap F1. Bingo! Your chart has been created. The default chart is usually a column chart. And if you wanted to, you could go up here and then change the chart type. Thank you.